Hello, Patriots. I'm Lee Watts, and this is Patriot Point, your source for Kentucky news and analysis from a conservative, Christian, and common sense point of view. Well, this week we'll be looking at a prominent Kentucky politician who says that if you don't trust the government, that you're paranoid. And uh, we'll be examining that in detail this week. Well, it also turns out that Andy Bashir has lost his bid to become Kamala's vice president running mate. So what's next for old Andy Pandy since he's not going to be vice president in any way? Well, if Kamala wins, Lord forbid, then there is a strong possibility that he would get selected for a cabinet position. And I would expect him to take that. Uh, but if Kamala loses... Yes, please. Yes, if Kamala loses, then Andy doesn't have another road to Washington. Therefore, if that were to happen, I would be uh, strongly suspecting he would run to replace Mitch McConnell. McConnell's term will be up in 2026, so not really that far away, and he might be running to replace him as Kentucky, one of Kentucky's senators. But the biggest concern that conservatives here in Kentucky and really across the nation have is not who Kamala has picked as her VP running mate. Uh, that really wasn't going to make a difference if we were going to support her or not. Uh, the Really, the biggest concern conservatives across the country right now have is, are we going to have in America honest elections? That is our primary concern. Uh, we don't want a bunch of illegal invaders voting in our elections. This issue is actually on the ballot in Kentucky this year. When you go to vote this November, there's going to be some proposals on the backside of your ballot. One of those proposals is forbidding illegals to vote in Kentucky elections. So I will be voting yes. I think it should be illegal for illegals to vote in Kentucky's elections. Uh, there's two constitutional proposals that will be on your ballot this November, and uh, they're both really good ones, and I hope conservatives will vote yes on both constitutional proposals that will be on your ballot this November. Uh, but conservatives, we don't want uh, illegals voting in our elections. We don't want these electronic voting machines. We don't want mail-in voting. We don't want these ballot drop boxes across the state. And yet we have all of these things despite every effort to get rid of them. And why is that? Well, it's because the Kentucky Secretary of State, Michael Adams, says he wants electric machines, he doesn't want paper ballots, and he wants to have these drop boxes in the mail-in voting. So as a conservative, I don't trust these things. Uh, I really don't trust the government with these things, but let's see what Secretary of Michael Adams says about people who don't trust this. It's very frustrating that there are a lot of people in America today and in Kentucky who are very paranoid and they distrust the government. That's right. You heard it from his own mouth. Kentucky Secretary of State Michael Adams said, if you don't trust the government, then uh, you're paranoid. You have some kind of a mental problem. Uh, this guy is a Democrat masquerading as a Republican uh, because a true Republican, a true conservative, doesn't trust the government. I read my history. I don't trust the government. And you know who else does it? Well, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Notice what Senator Paul said. Our founders never intended for Americans to trust their government. Our entire Constitution was predicated on the notion that government was a necessary evil to be restrained and minimized as much as possible. So right here, you have Kentucky Senator Rand Paul saying, listen, I don't trust the government. You and the founding fathers didn't trust the government. But Michael Adams says, if you don't trust the government, you're paranoid. Who else has this sentiment? Well, we can see President Ronald Reagan. He didn't trust the government. He said, in this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. And this was part of his inaugural address. Who else didn't trust the government? Well, President George Washington didn't trust the Remember, he didn't trust the government so much that he overthrew the government at the time. He said, government is not reason, it is not eloquent, it is force. Like fire, it is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. Never for a moment should it be left to irresponsible action. And when you think about irresponsible action, having an open border uh, that the government's failing to secure, that is irresponsible action. Uh, having this massive, overwhelming 
crushing debt, that is irresponsible action. Uh, having the economy crashing and sitting back and trying to ban plastic spoons and forks, that is irresponsible action. So this is exactly the kinds of things that George Washington was talking about when he expressed his distrust of the government. So who doesn't trust the government? Well, uh, George Washington didn't trust the government. Ronald Reagan didn't trust the government. Rand Paul doesn't trust the government. He's talking about the other founding fathers didn't. And you know what? I don't trust the government either. But if you feel that way, then remember what Michael Adams thinks about you. It's very frustrating that there are a lot of people in America today and in Kentucky who are very paranoid and they distrust the government. Yes, I bet the Secretary of State is quite upset that I actually have caught him and have this clip. Yes, these drop boxes are not secure, just out there where anybody and everybody can get to them. Again, during the most recent election, the primary, uh, I went out, took a picture of them. Uh, it's not in the clerk's office. It wasn't guarded by anyone. There were no security cameras. So this is something I encourage you to do, Kentuckians. Uh, here is a picture of where every single ballot drop box is in Kentucky. And you can see there are more, well more than 100 of them across the state. Here is the link where you can find them online to get up every single address. So during this election day coming up here in November, I encourage you, go out to these ballot drop boxes, take a picture of them, take some videos, post them, put them in the comment section here on Patriot Point. Send these things to our state legislators and let us inundate Frankfurt with how insecure these things are so that we can get some laws passed to get rid of these things here in Kentucky, which should have been done four years ago. We did have laws proposed to get rid of these drop boxes and other electronic machines, and it was the Secretary of State stopping them. So we as the people are going to have to be pushing back to secure our elections. So on election day, go vote, then go buy a drop box and take pictures and videos, and let's see what's going on on the election day. If you'd like to talk about securing our elections, there's actually going to be an event about that hosted by Dr. Frank. He is one of the people that has been on Trump's team talking about securing elections. He's going to be hosting an event here in Kentucky on August the 22nd at 6.30 p.m. This will be held at 900 Carter Avenue in Ashland, Kentucky. Again, that'll be August the 22nd. Uh, it's a free event, so if you'd like to go to that, hope to see a great turnout at that event. I've spoken at several different events across the state with uh, Dr. Frank. You will definitely have an eye-opening experience and learn what you can do to help secure Kentucky elections. I hope a lot of you will be able to make it. So, no, I don't trust the government. Well, some people, I, I do trust the government to a degree. Uh, I trust the government to take the people's money. Uh, I trust the government to spy on us. I trust the government to regulate every single thing we do. Uh, and I trust the government to then sell us out to the highest bidder or foreign power, whichever one is willing to pay more. So that's how much to the degree that I actually do trust the government. Uh, so, no, I don't really trust them that much. Uh, and if you don't trust them that much, just remember. It's very frustrating that there are a lot of people in America today and in Kentucky who are very paranoid and they distrust the government. Yeah, consider me in that crowd. I don't trust you, Michael Adams. <laughs> well, that's the news we have for this week. So until next week, Patriots, I'm Lee Watts for Patriot Point reminding you that liberty is not a spectator sport. It's very frustrating that there are a lot of people in America today and in Kentucky who are very paranoid and they distrust the government.